everybody, Macaron Tika Baby here with a tutorial on how to assemble an MMD model with the base using PMX Editor. Sorry for the pause, I lost my brain for a second. But anyway, to um, assemble a model in PMX Editor, you first need PMX Editor. Part 1, which will be linked below, will show you how to download PMX Editor. This uh, tutorial will show you how to work around PMX Editor, basically, or show the interface of PMX Editor. Editor. So the first thing you want to do is open up PMX Editor. To open up PMX Editor, you click on one of these two icons, this one or this one. If you're a 64-bit, either of these will work. However, if you're a 32-bit computer, click on this one right here. Not the one with underscore 64, but the one without underscore 64. That's the 32-bit version. For 64, either of these will work. So you're going to open up PMX Editor. And when you open up, you'll have a blank slate. You will not have a model. I just opened her up um, to show what each button does. Kind of show you. Ouch, I hit my thumb on the desk. So to maneuver around in PMX Editor, um, it's really simple. The left mouse button and is the selection, basically. You just select certain things. You can drag and, like, left mouse click and drag to select certain things. You just left mouse click to select certain things. The middle mouse button moves the, um, pans the screen around. And rotate, to rotate around the screen, use the right mouse button and drag. To reset, double click the right mouse button. And to do this, I'm not sure what this does or why you want to do it. But you use alt and right mouse button and click and drag. And again, to reset, just double click the right mouse button. You can also use these up here to rotate and to move and to zoom in. Oh, zoom in and out. Forgot that one. To zoom in and out, use the mouse wheel and just kind of zoom in and out. And that's the same for this right here. And this one does that one. I'm not sure what that purpose of that one is, but I never use it. So, um, yeah. Let's get started with these up here. So, in the option tab, you have V, which stands for vertices. If you click on it, it, like, it will automatically be clicked for you when you open it. To turn it off, just click it again. As you can see, it's not highlighted. To turn it on, just click it. And that selects the vertex of your model, which are these orange dot things. That's the vertices. The F key stands for face, and it's only selectable if you select the vertices as well, and it shows the face of your model. B stands for bones, and it only selects the bone of your model. RB, rigid body, or the physics, is, well, the physics. J, joints. Now, the range. It will automatically be selected to the box selection, which is a lot easier to use. However you want to use these other ones, then that's fine too. Point selection. You can only select one vertex at a time. Just one vertex at a time. So I can find one. There we go. The orange one. Just select another one. Just shift and select around. Again, the box selection, just click and drag to select that with the left mouse button. This is the rope tool, and it's kind of like the rope tool or the lasso tool in um, Photoshop. Just selects a certain part of the vertices using this tool. This is the circular tool, and it just selects the circle part of the model. Again, to select more, just click on shift and drag it around. This selects the faces, so you need to have the F thing right here, the F uh, key, select to select the faces. This is range select, and what this does is it moves the vertice, a vertice around like that. 
Oops. What is that? What did I just do? Um, it just moves like a random vertice around like that. It doesn't really let you select anything. This is disable selection. It basically is self-explanatory. It does not let you make a selection. I usually use the box, the lasso, and the circular key. Or circular selection, excuse me. In window, you have display settings. I only use settings while I don't really deal with settings 2, 3, and 4. But setting one is the background color. You can change the background color to like a gray color, a pink color, whatever color you want. E and V color stands for the model color, like the, um... I don't want to explain it better than that, like... Uh, like the material kind of color, I guess. I'm not sure how to explain it better than that. This checkbox shows you the light, and you can just drag it around, and... Yeah, and check it again to, just to um, hide it. This resets the light, and this one shows the color of the shadows. See, when orange shadow, it just makes her orange, shadow orange. Usually, it's a dark gray color. Um, these are basically the same as down here, which we'll get to those in a minute, so we're going to X off of this. O stands for Object Manager. Management, I'm sorry. These are basically the same as up here. Um, handle operation, compound, move, compound scale. You only get to use this if you have the hand handle display um, enabled. So you can do that either here or here. Just go ahead and... Yeah! So compound scale, basically the middle thing right here will... Whoops. The middle thing right here will scale. Oh my gosh, what happened? Why is this, oh my gosh. Um, compa rotate, will rotate. In a weird way. Um, not sure what hide does. I think it hides, no, I don't know what hide does. Uh, compound move again is just the little middle thing moves. And yeah, M stands for mask. And when you first open mask up, I had played with this before. Um, I had tried to record the tutorial before, but it didn't work out very well. <sighs> so when you open up mask, or the M button here, it'll show the model's parts. And it will hide them when you uncheck them to keep it all selected, but to keep it all... I don't know how to explain this better than this, but um, to deselect everything, but keep the model visible, just right-click, check none, and click on this PRTS button here, and it will show the model without having anything selected. So we're going to just select the body and just the body selecting, but still showing the rest of the model. Same for the bone. Let's say we want to hide the center bone. The center bone is hidden, as you can, I don't know if you can see that or not, but the groove bone is showing the center bone is hidden when you uncheck it. Um, again, body and joint, the same thing. If you have them showing, showing, excuse me, oh my gosh, then it will hide those certain body and joints. Object movement is same as handle, handle display. I never use this, honestly. I never use this. A is advance. And let's say you want to make a new vertice on the model. You click on the start button here and make sure it's highlighted blue. And we're going to make a new vertice on her arm for test. Just like see the line, just click and drag the line. So you made new vertices. And to um, undo that real quick. Okay, okay. And to turn off again, just click on the start button and it will turn gray for you. W is weight drawing. Which weighs your model. I'm not sure how to explain this better than that. Um, like you want to rig the bones to a part of the vertices. 
G is selection. I don't know what this does. Um, S is sub view. I never use G, honestly, so I don't know what it does. Honestly, I don't know what it does. But S is sub view, which opens up another window, like a smaller window. You can make it bigger, too, if you want to. I never really use this. And T is transform view. This transform view, you could test the bones of your model. Like the rigging of your model or the physics of your model. That's what, um... Transform view. This is the handle display, and if you turn it off, you won't be able to move it around, move the model around. So this is that basically the arrow thing. I don't know what VA does. I don't use it. Uh, this is multi view mode, and it makes four different screens. You can just change the size of each screen if you want to. If you want to focus on these two, focus on just that one. Just uh, make sure that it's this four arrow thing and just click and drag turn off by clicking that it goes back to perspective view effects i don't use that either and down here down here my dog scared me a little bit down here you have selection guide things sort of this one right here shows and hides the bones so if you click that it hides the bones click it again it shows the bones this right here shows the vertices in green. You can just uncheck that. I don't use this much. I use something else. I'll show you here in a minute what I use. This is to show the hidden... Let me just zoom in a little bit so you can see what I'm talking about. This gray circle shows the hidden bones. If you click that, maybe. Come on, click. You'll see these gray circle things up here. That is a hidden bone. Show the faces... That does nothing. Show normals shows the normals of the model. And this right here shows selected normals. So if I right click, if I uh, left click and drag, it will show the selected normals in yellow. This shows rigged body um, in like a geometric shape kind of way. I'm not sure how to explain it better than that, but um, yeah. This shows the physics in the more colorful way. Yeah, I'll explain better than that either. This shows, this button right here shows the joints. This button here shows the bone weight display, which makes the whole model black. The one next to it, the FRNT button, shows only the front vertices. So you can see there's less vertices selected. And be careful with this one too, guys. If you have this selected and you right click and drag your vertices, your model will stretch. So make sure to uncheck that if you're done with it. I don't know what this does. I don't use it. Um, this shows the axis. Let me show you that real quick. Where's display? There it is. Make that white or a lighter color. Like gray color here. You see that um, axis here? Just X off that real quick. This shows and hides the axis. We're going to hide this real quick so you can see. See that green line and that red line just shows and hides the axis. This shows the tunes, or maybe it hides the tunes. I'm not sure. This will show and hide the edge lines if your model comes with edge lines, which my models, I usually remove the edge lines. So you won't be able to use this much with my models. Um... Mode, you have the wireframe mode, which you see the model turns into a wireframe. Right, so there it is. Weights, which basically helps you paint the weights on uh, better when you're... Um, my brain's not working today for some reason. Oh my gosh. When you're weighing bones, I usually use that to weigh bones. Wire Plus shows additional wires while it's still showing the model's um, nice color there. Shadow shows the shadow and hides the shadow. S shadow is self shadows display and hides that. And this is to switch to perspective mode to more front view. Perspective, front view. And yeah, that's the basics of the interfacing of PMX Editor. In the next tutorial, we will be assembling a model. Stay tuned.